Hi everyone, this is Alex from SkySiv. Today we're going to take a quick look at our free moment of inertia tool and all the other useful section properties it can give you. When you load up the page it'll look something like this, with a main menu on the left hand side, a graphical interface in the middle, and a properties pane on the right where you can customize other section properties. By default you might see something that looks like this, but we'll change it for the example today. Let's change it over to a channel section. Now you can see it comes up with a PFC. Let's change the depth to maybe 200 and the thickness to something smaller, maybe eight. Let's change the bottom thickness as well to make it symmetrical. Okay, now we've customized the section and we know what the inputs are. Let's hit solve. You'll see a whole bunch of different properties now appear on the right hand side of the screen. You've got geometric properties like your area and your centroids. You've got moment of inertia in the various axes and your radius of gyration. You'll see your section modulus, your shear properties, and your torsion and warping properties as well. If you don't know what any of these properties mean, you can hover your mouse over the little eye and we'll provide you a description of what they are. So you can see radius of gyration, product of inertias, everything you might want. You also see we've got small icons here for certain properties saying free, sign up to view. Those just require you to have a SkySiv account, which is also free. What I normally like to do as well is hit this plot shear center button. If you do that, you'll see the shear center appear with a little, with a little SC icon and a red dot. I like that for PFCs because it's kind of interesting to see how the shear center is actually off center. That basically covers everything that you can do for free without an account. It's really handy if you just quickly need to look up some section properties online. But what I'll start showing you now is some of the features that get unlocked if you have a SkySiv account. A good example is up here at the top of our results. There's a button that says hand calculations. If we click that, it tells us that we need to upgrade. But essentially the hand calculations will show you step-by-step -step calculations of how all these numbers were arrived at. Over here on the left, we've currently only really explored the shape templates option, but there's a whole bunch of other options down here that we haven't really looked at. The database shapes is probably my favorite feature. It basically provides you with a massive database of shape properties from all around the world, different regions of the world. So you might be, at, so it makes it a lot easier than using the shape templates for me because I like to just go into you know, the Australian database and then grab a specific PFC from there based off our country's um, properties that are available. Custom shapes lets you build up shapes using just points and lines inside the graphical interface itself. You can also then add fillets and radiuses to the sections. So it's almost like a um, more specialized version of AutoCAD, I would say, that lets you create a section inside of SkySiv itself. Speaking of which, the My Sections tool lets you import your own sections that you might have from outside of SkySiv. So if you have drawn something in a program like AutoCAD in the past, you can import that straight into SkySiv as a DXF file and be able to store it inside our system. The analysis tool is also really cool. It, it will basically perform a finite element meshing process on the section you've created, whether that's custom or something in the database, and we'll give you all of the strength properties based for that section. You can also change the material properties and get a very detailed look at how your section will perform. You can even put holes into the sections as well, actually, and um, incorporate those into, which is really handy. What's another thing that's useful about the My Sections feature is that when you save the sections into there, 
they're fully stored in your account now. So you don't need to re-import things every time you use it. You'll have all your section libraries in there, any custom sections you've made, and you can actually share those with other people in your team too across your SkyCiv accounts, which is pretty cool. So that, that gives you a quick overview of everything you can do in our section builder tool. Um, sign up for an account because you'll get a lot more access to some of these features I'm showing. But by default for free, you can also jump straight into the website and just easily chuck in a shape and get the basic properties over on the right. So that's what I'd recommend doing. Have a play and see, see if you like it. And if you ever need any help at all, never hesitate just to click on the little chat icon down in the bottom right here. And that will take you straight into a chat with a real, real human being. We've got people all around the world on the chat systems, basically 24 seven. So if you ever have a, a question or a query or a suggestion even, um, jump in there and talk to one of us and we'll be able to point you in the right direction or even potentially take the feedback you give us and turn it into a product in the future. So thanks for watching and hope you liked the video. Subscribe to our channels and we'll see you again next time. Thank you.